This chapter we're going to be learning about a new concept called photosynthesis. Uh, this first video just acts as a very basic introduction in order to help you understand the simple concepts that surround the idea of photosynthesis. Uh, just to talk about a few of the basic things that drive this process, there's four main factors that need to be present in order for photosynthesis to take place. The first and most important one is the light energy. The light energy is usually coming from the sun if we're out in nature, and this is the driving force behind the entire process of photosynthesis. We've already talked about producers and things like plants, but um, we've always mentioned the idea of like the, uh, the trophic pyramid, and the very base of the trophic pyramid always starts with energy coming from sunlight. Now the idea of autotrophs, or producers like plants, is that they can make their own energy. The thing is, they still need materials from the environment. They can't make something out of nothing. So the materials that they're getting from the environment are carbon dioxide, which they're taking out of the air, and then water, which they're absorbing from the soil up through their roots. The byproducts that they make here are oxygen, and there's another factor that should be shown on here. This sort of stays inside of the plant, but it's the idea of glucose. Uh, glucose is just a simple sugar. It's something that plants use for energy. And when other things are eating plants, that's one of the most basic carbohydrates that they're getting from them. Uh, carbohydrates are usually what you get for like energy from plants, and they're all based with glucose. Some of them might be more complicated things, like starches, which are just bigger carbohydrate molecules. But all of that stuff is built from glucose, so it all kind of starts at the same place. But as far as basic photosynthesis goes, you just have to know that plants use the energy from sunlight combined with carbon dioxide and water to produce oxygen and glucose. A few just important terms to kind of recap everything. Uh, the chloroplast is something we've talked about in the past. That's the organelle where the process of photosynthesis takes place. And we'll talk about some things like the, uh, the stroma and um, other structures where the actual process of photosynthesis is happening. Uh, another thing that's important to know is the chlorophyll. The chlorophyll is the actual pigment that absorbs the sunlight, so this is what pl allows plants to absorb the sun. It's also what makes them green because they absorb every spectrum of the every uh, aspect rather of the color spectrum except for green. So green gets reflected back, which gives plants their green color. And then lastly is glucose. That's one that was, again, left out of that diagram, but that's actually what plants are making. The oxygen that they release for us is a waste product. It's not something they actually need, whereas the glucose is the main goal. So that's like the main energy storage form that plants use. Just a couple of important terms and just a very basic introduction to the idea of photosynthesis, which we'll spend a lot of time on this chapter. We'll get into all of the little details about how exactly plants absorb sunlight, what they do with the carbon dioxide and water to change it into glucose. Uh, this is one of the more involved processes that we're going to talk about throughout the course of the year. So it's definitely something you have to stay on top of. But uh, truthfully, this topic is very rewarding because it is challenging, and, and once you get it, uh, you get a nice feeling of satisfaction from that. So just make sure you keep up with the activities and videos, and you should be all set for this chapter. So as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you in class.